people of the internet, welcome to another smart home video. This one's about the Amazon Fire tablet which um, has had an update. Now on June the 7th, um, Amazon released its latest version of the Fire tablet which come with Alexa. Um, however, if you've got an older model, there's now been a software update uh, which brings Alexa to those as well. And I'm gonna talk you through what it looks like and what you can do with it and how you use it. Let's start off with how will you know when you've had the software update. So this is how I find out. So you unlock the tablet and you'll see this. So Alexa is now on your fire um, and it asks you whether you want to use it or not. If you do, you press continue. Try it now. Just press and hold the home button and ask me, what's the weather tomorrow? What's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in Hucknall. There will be lots of clouds, with a high of 19 and a low of 11. Okay, I think this gives you a bit of a glimpse of what the Echo Show is going to be bringing up. Uh, I think these are called cards, and this particular one is obviously weather. Uh, oh look, Tuesday, thunder and lightning. Sounds fun. Okay, so uh, let's continue again. Here are some more things to try. What's the news? What can I say? How deep is the ocean? See if I can just turn this up quickly. How deep is the ocean? The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep and is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep is approximately 11,033 metres deep. So there you go. So now I've got Alexa on this tablet and this should just cost me, uh, I think, 40, 40 odd pound. Pink one for my daughter. Um, and yes it's pretty straightforward to use so um obviously i've got alexa connected to some of my smart home devices turn on the living room light okay turn off the living room light okay open netflix Here's Netflix. And there you go. So it's easy to use. You just hold the home button until it lights up and then you ask it whatever you want. Okay, one thing I have noticed is on this tablet, I've unlocked the Google Play Store. Um, as you can see, so I can get all the goodies you can't get on a, a kind of lockdown Amazon Fire. Alexa doesn't seem to like loading any of the apps uh, that comes off the Play Store. So I've got Mario Run on here. So let's try that. Open Mario Run. Yeah, and maybe that's the way I've said it. But yeah, there you go. It's um, a nice additional feature uh, on the Fire tablet. If you was worried that you wouldn't get it on an older device, don't, because now you can through the software update. Um, and that's it, plain and simple. Good stuff. So one thing to note on this, it's not voice activated, so I can't just say, Alexa, do such and such, and it will do it. I have to hold that home button every time, which is a bit of a shame, um, because you, I could have had it laying around in my house, um, and just said Alexa, and it would have then pretty much been a, a cheap Echo Show, and maybe that's why they've not done it that way. Um, but even so, it's a, it's a nice addition to have uh, on the Fire tablets. It's not just on the latest versions now, it's on the older ones too. Um, so if you've got a, a Fire tablet, uh, look for the software update, give it a try, or if you've not got one yet, but you're thinking of getting one, uh, get one, they, they're pretty cheap, you can get action titles up, up and running on it um, you can obviously now with Alexa control your smart home through it um, so yeah, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs>